Chrissy and today I'm here with a huge unhaul. This is going to be the first part of two parts of this unhaul because the first part are books I'm going to be giving to my book BFF Remus because he has people in mind he'd like to get into reading and I and he was asking me if there are any books that I have that I could um, lend out to him so or like give him so I'm going to be giving these to him. And then the second part are books I'm going to be selling around like my area here so I can um, better finance my book obsession. Okay, so the first bag, that's right, the first bag of books I have here that I'm going to be giving to him are uh, book number 13, 12, 13 of A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, Reese, Kingdom Falling by Greg Cox, uh, The Right Three by uh, Blue Ballier, Balliet, and illustrated by Brett Helquist, Helquist. And then, and find the Road of Bones. This is actually very good. And then the next one is Weed Flower by Cynthia Kaduhata. The next one is Safekeeping by Karen Hess. And then, onto the next bag. We have Maximum Ride by James Patterson. Runaway by, I don't know. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn, illustrated by Adrian Alfana. Now, this is a really good like series. However, I really am not, you know. Also, it's kind of broken, so I don't really want to keep it. Oops. The next one is Steampunk. It's basically an anthology of steampunk stories by different authors. And then here we have, oops, oh my gosh, falling. <laughs> okay. Um, we have Be More Chill by Ned Buzzini, The Earth Has Elevator by Lemony Snicket, The Carnivorous Carnival by Lemony Snicket, The Queen's Secret by Victoria Lamb, uh, and the entire uh, Mortal Instruments series. These, as you can see, these are the old covers. So, yes. All of these... Oh, sorry, you can see my stuff, but yeah those are going to be given to Ramas so, so he can get other people into reading and so now I have more shelf space however if you follow me on snapchat you will notice that my shelves despite clearing these out it looks like I didn't even clear anything out because it's still full <laughs> so yeah this is part one of my massive May unhaul so um, yeah well, actually, it looks like since I can finish this quickly, I might as well. I actually forgot to include the first ever uh, Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians book I, bu I got, which is paperback and it's kind of it's kind of destroyed. So I'm also going to be giving that to Ramos. Now, this next part here is um, books I'm going to be selling. So, and I cannot sell overseas and I'm really sorry, but honestly, um, it's kind of expensive to even ship them. Out, so I'm just gonna be selling it around my area and I'm really sorry if I'm offending you guys if you've um, liked any of these books and they're your favorite but honestly I just can't I mean I have liked these at some point in time also but I just don't have space for them and honestly like I don't need them just there gathering dust I'm not gonna reread them I like them once upon a time and that's it you know these can go to better homes so uh, the from the another bag from the another bag anyway the other bag of books I have here which I will be selling is um, the Grim Grotto by Lemony Snicket Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan The Poison Diaries by Mary Rose Wood with the Duchess of Northumberland this is just a pretty book that's why I'm just not gonna be saying why I'm, why I don't like each one because that's gonna take forever it's a whole rant video on its own. Anyway, uh, The Clockwork Scarab, a Stoker and Holmes novel by Colleen Gleason. Don't even get me started. Uh, we have Beastly by Alex Flynn. I was, my expectations for the movie were so low because it got so many bad reviews. When I actually watched the movie, I liked it because my, because my expectations were like below zero that when I watched it, I was like, okay, one. The book was okay though. 
Um, and I'm giving away the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies trilogy, Dawn of the Dreadfuls and Dreadful Ever After by Steve Hawkinsmith, Jane Austen, and Seth Graham Smith. All of these. I could have actually read Dreadful Ever After, but I really... No, I think I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. So that's it for that bag. Now, the next bag here, I have The Spindlers by Lauren Oliver. Uh, Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk. Uh, Me and Mr. Darcy by Alexandra Potter. I Am Number 4 by Pinnacus Lore. I don't know, I might buy a bigger book of this, but at the same time, when I found out what the guy behind Pinnacus Lore is really doing, no. I've lost interest in that series. Um, then the next one I have is The Search for Wanda by Tony Deterli Tony Deterlizzi. Um Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. All my other um, Percy, Percy Jackson books are like in this much larger, slightly larger paperback. So I don't understand why this came to the Philippines in a tinier cover. And it's like all of my books are like, and it's like, but I, no, I can't. Mm -mm. Oops. Okay. Uh, Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Uh, the School for Good and Evil by Zomanchi Nani. I just, no. No. Um, I don't know why people like that series. I mean, I get it, but not me. Um, I have Hold Me Closer, Necromancer, and Necromancing the Stone by Lish McBride. These are hilarious, but I don't have space and I'm gonna reread them. So. And the last ones are, I actually borrowed the first book of this um, from a friend, but because she and I couldn't really like coordinate for me to read the rest of the series. I just had to buy them. So that is Insurgent by Veronica Roth and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Yes. So that is it. These are all the books I'm getting rid of, which is... Seven books. My gosh. Okay. Anyways, um, so if you like this video, please like. And if you want to watch more videos with my face in them, you can subscribe. And um, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.